to start out this video, I just want to say I personally have no explanation for the actions that I made being this sexualized girl in this video and I'm sorry if I hurt anyone, if I offended anyone and I'm probably going to become emotional watching this even though yeah I agreed to do this but you'll see that I didn't really agree and I'm just going to explain exactly what happened and the truth behind it because the amount of things that have been said to me from this video still to this day I was 12 years old I am now 19 seven years later and I still get shit for this video and I just want to put everything out there to you guys and basically give you guys what you want to hear and what you've been waiting to hear So I watched 36 seconds of this video and I don't even need to watch it anymore because I know what everything I'm gonna say to you guys and if you guys want to watch the whole video you can it's on YouTube if you just look up OMG Jenna Rose I personally don't want to watch it anymore I'm gonna start explaining everything the producers of this song basically set me up for abuse and sexualization which is a lot for a 12 year old girl I guess they knew that they would make money and fame basically off of that concept it's a 12 year old girl singing I guess inappropriate lyrics dancing inappropriately and they knew they knew they would make money so they would fed my parents and me the bullshit told me I would become so famous from this song before the even video starts it says teen boom boom doll this was very big going into the video my mom objected to this obviously she goes what is that we, we didn't know what that was like I, I bet most of you don't know what it is still the producer said these I'm not gonna name any names because I'm not here to intentionally hurt anyone I just don't need to name names I don't think it's necessary but the producer basically said that there was a big guy in the music industry, you probably would know him if I mentioned his name, but I'm not going to, that gave us this name, the Teen Boom Boom Doll, and he was going to like shop me in this name. And he said, you are going to become famous from that, you have to use it. And he said, nothing's going to happen, people are going to take Teen Boom Boom Doll however they want to take it, doesn't mean anything. And we said okay because at the time we looked it up and there was nothing on it but now if you look it up there's I guess there's a definition like about a sexualized girl but we obviously had no idea and I don't remember this because I was so young but I think my mom told me that I asked him what it meant and he said you are just going to be playing the role of the teen boom boom doll in the video this all this whole video is acting he kept saying that to me it's like you're in a play. You're going to be acting. You're going to be taking on this role of this girl. And nothing's going to happen because it's all acting. So I was like, okay, my 12-year-old self. Like, I'm obviously, like, I wanted to become famous. I was a 12-year-old girl. And they were feeding us all this stuff. So we just agreed. Um, and you have to remember, a 12-year-old girl can't really consent to anything on her own. I was so young, I didn't even know how to make my own life decisions yet. And I'm thrown with all these big producers and just older people who were trying to take control of everything. And they basically did. I was 12 years old, guys. At the end of the day, people were calling me a slut, a whore, and horrible things. I haven't even had my first kiss yet at the age of 12. I was scared to even hug a boy. I didn't... Like, I was so innocent, 
and the sad part about this is that if this song was sung by like a 20 year old girl now nothing would happen modern music is like this now so if this song was sung by a 20 year old girl i would not have been received the same way at all it was just because i was 12 years old which is sad because if you listen to the lyrics of songs nowadays, guys, I probably listen to them too. The same rap songs, it's the same message. And the comments, oh, so many comments said that too. I was looking at comments today. They said, this is how modern music is today. I don't see anything wrong with it. I think it's the same. She was just young. And I agree with that. And there's so, I saw an overwhelming amount of comments that I didn't expect to see. People tell me all the time, that song, I love that song. If you just change the words, like, the song isn't bad, it's just the whole concept of it. The song isn't that bad. People love it. So, but can you imagine what it was like for a 12-year-old girl like myself to go on with her life after this video? Go to school, get stared at, get laughed at. Not in school, I'd be home, I'd look at the comments. If I go to the mall, I would get laughed at and looked at with dirty looks at the age of 12 and it still happens to this day and I didn't hurt anyone I, there was no one hurt in the making of this video and the amount of just pure hatred that I get from it is just upsetting but another big thing is that when I filmed this video we filmed it all in little tiny pieces so I would go from doing a dance sequence to putting on a ballet outfit for like two minutes and shooting one scene of me walking in with the ballet outfit. And I f honestly remember, I think the producer was like, or the director was like, I was like, why am I wearing this? And they were like, we're gonna like Photoshop you into the sky wearing, I was wearing angel wings. And they're like, we're gonna Photoshop you into the sky. That's not what it was at all. We did not know how it was going to turn out. Basically, the angel wings were meant to be like, I don't even know, but not what we thought. They also told me and my family that this song was meant for Britney Spears, that she was going to sing it, but something happened with her contract with the producers, so they're giving it to me. And obviously, we were like, oh my god, like, if she was going to sing it, I'm going to become so big from this and in the first few seconds which is like kind of funny it literally sounds like the hills by the weekend and so many people say that but it wasn't taken from that it's a little different if you listen to it but it does start out like that but basically it is hard as it is for like me to talk about this i was set up by the producers and so is my family and obviously like no one wanted this to happen. We did not intend to hurt anyone or portray this message of sexualization. The comments when I was younger, when I, well, I've learned to have a thicker skin now because I'm older, but reading those comments when I was a little 12 year old girl who should have been hanging out with her friends on the weekends and playing with toys and Legos and whatever. I would sit in my room and cry all day and all night. And that's actually, I went on my account and deleted this video after it reached about a few million views, maybe like, I don't know how many, but I went and deleted it and people re-uploaded it and I just didn't want anything to do with it. And it's still there, it's still following me around. And I just wanted to put this video out there to just give you guys the truth. I saw a few comments that said that some people have saw me perform live and that they thought I was talented and that this video just doesn't show who I truly am. And I just want to say, like, if you guys know me from this video, this is not who I am. This is not who I want to be. This is not who I wanted to be. If you took the chance to see my videos now, I don't do anything like this anymore and I'm just trying to move past all this so I want to thank you guys for watching and I appreciate you guys taking the time to hear me out on a subject that's this hard for me to 
talk about and I wasn't going to film this video. It took me a lot to gather myself to talk about it because I just dealt with so much from this but I want to thank you guys for sticking with me if you've made it all the way here and um, subscribe for more videos obviously um, leave a comment down below of what you thought of this video and suggestions for more videos. I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you guys in the next video. No limit in the sky that I won't fly for you. No amount of tears in my eyes that I won't cry for you. Oh no, with every breath that I take.